Hello, teacher. Hello, Cesar. How are you? I'm very well. You, how are you? So, so, I think I'm, I'm getting a, a, a fever or a cold. I'm not sure yet. Really? Yeah, oh, but it's okay because this is Thursday and I can rest Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I can relax. Yeah, yeah. You need. And you, Cesar, how do you feel? But, well, well, I think that my day was so-so. <laughs> Yeah. You the exams at the university, right? No, no. Today was the last uh, day no? No, uh, it, that's another exam, right? So uh, I'm gonna finish uh, in the, I don't know, is 26 or uh, June 26, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So two more weeks. Yeah. Yeah, two more weeks. The 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 week to the the nineteen to uh, twenty five the of June is 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 the exam weeks. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. So you still have one more week of class. Yes. Yes. Uh, uh, yeah. See. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, one, one, yeah. 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 Uh, one week more. Okay, all right. Yeah, that's good. The important is almost, then you can relax in July. Um, not really, but, <laughs> but yes. But yes, huh? Because, yeah, uh, because I, I, I have uh, another project for the, the time in, in, I know how do you say intercyclo or, or vacations? Yeah, yes, for yes, vacation, yes. I, I have, uh, another projects about the university, right? But our personal project. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Well, that's good. Jose, Monica, how are you? What, Jose? The bold. <laughs> Go ahead. Yes. I'm pretty well. Okay. And you? Pretty good, pretty good. So we are ready for today? I'm ready. All right. Well, thank you so much for connecting. I'm glad that you're here. Um, we're going to start off. First, just checking. Do you have any questions about the platform unit one, unit two, unit three? Uh, no? This is the first. Maybe sometimes uh, people have problems in the platform or an exercise. So before we do the exam, we want to make sure that there are no questions. No? Okay, I think if everybody's quiet, is you don't have any questions. So in this moment, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make partners. First, I'm gonna show you the exam to explain to you to make sure that it's clear. In case you have any questions, I'll help you a little bit uh, for the instructions before we begin, and then we do the exam. Okay. Let me show. Okay. All right, so here we have this is the last part of unit three that we finished yesterday. And now we're going to go ahead and go on to the exam. The exam has many sections. The first section that we're going to see is a circle the words. This means you have to read all of the sentences and choose which is the correct word. The same in part two, the difference is the type of words. So in the first ones, they're prepositions. In the second one, they're verbs. So only choose the correct word in part A. In part B, you have to put this in the correct form. You have to make this sentence, okay? You have to make this sentence using this expression, okay? Now, 
the important is if it's a question, you need to add the question mark at the end of the request. If it's a sentence, only a period. But if it's a question, you put question mark. Don't forget because then it's going to be marked wrong. That is part two, writing. Part three is listening. You have a couple of listenings, we listen, and with information from there, you answer these four questions. The four questions according to the information from the listening. This is part three. Part four is just a little reading. You can make it bigger by clicking in this arrow and it opens another window, okay? And then of course you can always make it bigger or if it's too small for you, you can always make it larger or leave it the way you want. The same thing here, you can always make it larger if you want. With that information from the reading, you're gonna answer these four questions. And then the last part for the exam is matching. We're going to have this, and you're going to match to the ending, how to complete this sentence. So this, before young man and woman speak, do you want to use, what do they do? This is the idea. What is the complement for those four sentences? Any questions about the exam? No. No? All right, so we have uh, choosing the right word, uh, writing the question again, the models, listening, uh, small reading and answering, and then matching, okay? We're gonna have, it should be about 20 minutes for us to finish everything, and then we come back and continue with the class. Okay. It's okay? Okay. All right, perfect. So. Let's give it 25 just to be sure. And we are ready to begin the exam.
hello Anna, we are working in the exam in the groups. I'm going to put you into the group.
All right, Marielos, we are in the exam. I'm going to put you in a group. That way you can continue with your partner.
Hi, teacher. Hello. You ready, Karen? <laughs> yes, yes. I, I am finished with my partner. With Claudia? But, uh, yes. Okay. Yes, but uh, I, I, me salí de la reunión, pero no. No problem, no problem. Ya casi, solo quedan 30 segundos. No problem. Ah, ah okay. Teacher, mm -hmm. yo tenía una duda en, 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 en una, porque en la... No sé si lo vamos a resolver juntos o, o no se puede, teacher. Yes, 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 no problem. Ah, ya. Sí, es uh -huh. que hay una que, que, que me llamaba la atención que se ocupaba ING y solo porque la, tra, la traduje es que la había encontrado. Creo que en la, era la, en la parte 2. Ya le voy a buscar. Pero cuando decía uno si podría si podría eh, eh, sentarse aquí, dice ya. Ay, Dios, ¿dónde está? Ah, no, es que estoy en la parte 4. Entonces dije yo, y, y solo porque la, eh, le puse traducción, es que encontré cuál era la, la respuesta, pero sí me llamó la atención eso porque no me acordaba. Ok, hey, Karen, don't worry, let's check together right now. Ok, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. All right, guys, let's start off by making sure everything is okay. In part A, any questions? No, teacher. No, everything was okay? It's okay. It's okay. Ah, okay. In part two, is okay? Yes. yes. For me, all is okay, teacher. All right, great. Let's go to part B, rewriting. Any questions with part B? Um, a question in, in the part, in, in the third one. In the third one, because don't sit here. Yes, teacher, yeah, because, uh, me too. Because uh, here, don't, uh, you put in W, in N, E, and G. Let's see. Why? Because the person says, don't sit here. Let's check. There, teacher. There. Ah. There. Okay. We can check. Okay. What did you guys put? Did, did you try this answer? Would you mind not? Would you mind not? Yes, teacher. But uh, we try and we put uh like that uh, but i don't understand why you put in ent oh this is from the class remember always always when you use mind always the verb is ing okay teacher say mm -hmm. you're welcome any other questions Remember, this is only with mind, not with would you. It's not with would you, it's the word mind. The word mind is the, the word that makes the other go with ing. Any other questions in this part? All right. Let's take a look at letter C, the listening, okay? Any confusion, everything is okay from the listening? All clear, okay. Oh, okay, great. Okay. Yes? Okay, then we have the reading. The reading was a little small, but you had to make it bigger. It's okay, or are there any questions, or you're not clear, the vocabulary or the meaning? It's okay. Okay, great. 
And then the last part, the matching, selecting the correct word. Oops. Sorry. In the matching part, any questions? No questions. All right, so we finish. We have 80 or more, yes? The score is 80 or more? Yes. Yes? Okay, excellent. So now we're going to take a look at what we're going to begin learning on Monday. On Monday, we're going to take, we're going to start unit four. Here, we're going to read a little bit about the objectives, okay? Let's take a look. Uh, Karen Flores, can you read the objective? Yes, teacher. Uh, for lesson objective, in this class, you will be exposed to an audio where samples of past, present, and future tense are used. Okay, good. Do you guys remember the past? How do we make the past? I don't remember, teacher. Oh, okay, no problem. The past, there are two forms, with regular verbs and irregular. If you have a regular verb, only is necessary ed. This is for the sentence. If you have a question, the past is always with did. So, as an example, I can say, uh, for example, today, did you take a shower? Did you, oops. If you see, the verb is in present because I use did. If the verb is irregular, we put irregular. I took a shower, for example, okay? If the verb is regular, then you put only ed. For example, I played ES4. Is that okay to remember the past? Yes. Okay, yes. good. And then we see the present. How do we make the present? What do we have to remember for the present? Play. Okay. For example, the word play. Good, Claudia. And what about if I say for he or she or it? How is the verb? Plus, um, plus S. Okay, good. So he, she, and it, always we have with S in the present. But in the past, all of the verbs, the same. The same ED for all the people or with did for all the people. Okay, good. And what about the future? How do we make the future? Use the wheel. Ah, good. We're going to. We're going to. We're going to. Good. Exactly. Exactly. So these are the things that we use. Many times we use will or going to. What is the difference? The difference in, in will and, and going to is for the. One is for a plan, and another one is for action. Do you. Are sure that you gonna do? Ah, okay. So, which one is for plans? Which do we use when we have a plan? In uh, will. We... Okay. Good. Go ahead. Some people say will. Go ahead. Let me listen. The others. What do you think? When do we use if we have a plan? We use will. Okay, okay. All right. Well, actually, the correct one is that we use going to when we have a plan. A plan a small time, a plan a big time, a plan a huge time, but always we use going to with a plan. We use will when it's not a plan, when we only think like a maybe. Then we use will. But when you have a plan, it is going to.
going to eat when I am I'm, I'm sure to do something. Correct. When you are sure to do something. Thank you. You're welcome. So in the chat, we have many questions. We have many questions about the future, okay? You see the questions? We have two lists. So we are going to have, here is the second link for the future. So we're going to start with our partners and we're going to look at the links and we're going to ask and answer our partners, our plans for the future, okay? Depending the question, maybe it's this weekend, maybe in five years, maybe in the future with technology or other areas. Any questions what we're going to do in the groups? What link or what? Just, okay. We're going to begin both links. That one part we can use, the second link is better to start with. But if you have, if you don't like, you use the first link. But the idea is that you have with your partner different links so you can have different questions. Okay, good. Yes, no, no questions. Do you want to look at the pictures before, or you want to look at the questions and make sure it's okay? Did you understand all the questions? Yes, Richard. We're ready? Yes. Okay, let's go with our partners. Monica, you okay?
Okay, guys. Great. Any questions? Any of uh, the vocabulary from the links that you didn't know? No, teacher. It's a loud question, teacher. Yes, the idea is not to complete. The idea is to help you create the conversation. Mm -hmm. We were in, so, a, in an interesting conversation about the aliens. <laughs> <laughs> So what are you going to do this weekend? You're going to relax, study, work? In my uh, case, I, will... I work. Uh, and on Saturday, Claudia, all day or only to 12 o'clock? Uh, no, it's uh, 12 o'clock. OK, 12 o'clock. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I will study a lot. Oh, okay, uh, for the university. Yeah, yeah, for my university. You have a lot of exams in two weeks, right? Yeah, in two weeks, but I I need in I need send uh, a lot of reports or things like that. <laughs> okay, good. Well, I hope everyone has a nice weekend, a chance to relax, and then on Monday we begin unit four. Unit four will begin on Monday, looking at the three times, past, present, and future. Okay, teacher. Okay. 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 Thank, Thank you, guys. Have a nice night. Hi, Bye. 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 Bye.